Check. V2, check. Hello, cameras. Action. I'm John Biggs from Country 107.3. It is so nice to see both of you again. Stuart, Jenna, welcome. Thank you so Thank much. You. We're so excited to be here. Congratulations, as I said to you when you first walk in the door, on everything that's happened to you since the last <laughs> time I've seen you at CCMA's Radio Row. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the CCMA's, of course, was a lovely thing. That was an yes. awesome thing, yes. But since then, of course, the CFL gig. Crazy. Right? Craziness. Yeah. And, and you've had, I've heard you say this before, you've got an awful lot of love from that. Yeah. yeah. Right? Totally. We really got to see a change in our careers through that. I think you got to see the scope of Canadians and just different Canadians that mm -hmm. maybe wouldn't listen to country music, but mm -hmm. it was kind of thrown in their face <laughs> at Thursday night football. So, And they right. kind of caught on and we got to see just the power that they have. Actually, and one of the things that I've heard you say too is about sports and music. Yes. When you're featured in a sporting event, all kinds of things are going on, right. but if you're the focus musically, yeah. it's all on you. That's right. the only thing that people are going to look up on Spotify or Apple yeah. Yeah. rather than an, an award show or some sort of event like that. It's really, really cool. It's a different market to tap into. Mm -hmm. you, it's a rare occasion. We're very blessed that we got to do that. And the You guys write all your songs together? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, brother sister, <laughs> wonderful dynamic, right? <laughs> yes. But of course. when you're kind of putting your heart out there, on a line, the line that keeps going through my head is when you know, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I never had a relationship, I have a sister, mm -hmm. never had a relationship with my sister where I'd be able to say, I think this is the one. Right. Clearly, you have to have that kind of relationship when you're writing songs. Right. 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 You gotta, with love songs especially, if you know that one person's gonna take the lead on it, mm -hmm. whether it's Jenna or myself, you just know, like, you basically have to put it in the mindset that you're writing for somebody else or like a specific artist. So, like, that day we kind of considered it like a male song, right. male led yeah. song, and then Jenna has breakup songs on the album and stuff. We have, you have to go in a headspace that you usually wouldn't have to with a yeah. song. And I think right. we also like have a relationship that we have to be open enough to be like, be able to talk about our feelings, be able to talk about relationships that we're in, like because otherwise the song won't sound there's real. nothing to write right. songs about. Right. <laughs> but that's really healthy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's incredibly healthy. Absolutely. Totally. Yeah. So, there must be some ribbing then. Oh yeah, I have to dig at Stu, like, what's going on? <laughs> Keep me updated. Yeah. Um, has there ever been a time on the road where you've had a gig, having been at gigs myself before where I've felt this way, please somebody snap my fingers and get me out of here? Have oh, you ever like had shows? a gig like that? Yeah. Mm. Have they, I I, like, has so. it, cause everything's been right. pretty positive since, at least yes. since the CCMAs, but even, since 2013, we can go back that yeah, far, yeah, yeah. right? Totally. Like, I mean, it comes down, I think weather is so important. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, we've played shows that are negative 20, shows that are pouring rain. Like, I would say those are the shows. I don't think we've ever had a show that's like, oh, this sucks. Like, mm -hmm. we've always been, no matter who's there, no matter how many people are there, right. we just enjoy getting on a stage yeah. and playing music for even if there's five people listening. And I don't think there's ever been an occasion, just for what you're saying, of trying to snap your fingers and get out of there. If there's, if one of us is down, there's, I don't think it's ever happened right. where both of us are having a bad day or an off day, but right. sometimes I'll be having an off day, she'll mm -hmm. have an off day, and the other one will take the reins and do like the, the heavy lifting. Right. Yeah. Like Honestly, or, we're so lucky like that. Or yeah. possibly make a face. Right, exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah, you can you can basically read each other on yeah. stage. Yeah, or like, like it'll be like one mm -hmm. of our voices is not as strong, so we know that the right. other person has to talk more at that show. Right. Where it's like the banter in between songs, mm -hmm. that person kind of has to take the lead, and we're both pretty good at that, which we're lucky kind of. Yeah, because where if you're an artist, a solo artist, it'd be tough on those days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it just gets worse and worse if you have like a string of five shows and you're like, oh my gosh, the she third show and you're it. exhausted. You, um, you both have nicknames. Again, I've seen this really <laughs> cool interview. I don't understand your nickname. Neither do I. Seniots. Seniots, because I think it was like <laughs> Jenna turned into Jenny. And for some reason, I think oats have something to do with it because I was small, like an oat. Okay, okay. but it's odd. Seniots. I know. <laughs> you know dad call has my the dad. Weirdest nicknames for everybody. He'll have a nickname for you the second he meets you. He doesn't call people by their actual right. names. I played hockey with people like that before. Yeah. Where they they can't call you by your name. It's they have to have a name for you. Yeah. That they've created. Right. Because it helps them remember you. Exactly. exactly. Our dad was a hockey player, so that's. Perfect. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, I love the jacket. I only just recently saw the backward R jacket. Yeah. And I thought. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very the, the backwards art has been pretty cool for us. It's like 
someone came up with it um, when we were first starting out and it just kind of changed everything. It was so like, yeah, that makes sense. I'd it's, buy that hat. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's what, on my next five female shirt, <laughs> just right? They are. Put Jenna backward on the shirt. Then everybody would know exactly Anage. who you are. Good job. Right? <laughs> now, I've heard you do a Johnny Reed impression. <laughs> I know, it's following you around now. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have done Johnny Reed's gonna be so mad <laughs> no, at me. He's, no, I'm sure he's honored by that. I would think he's tickled by that. Okay, good. Plus, it's not see, me. The, I do a thing about names. I'm always checking out people's names, and Walker is one of those. It's, I'm Irish and Scottish. Yeah. Right. And Walker is very much a Scottish name. Yes. yes. So you must have a little bit in that in you, right? Because well, that accent comes pretty yeah, really like, naturally. We're like German and Scottish. <laughs> yeah. Like the last name is Scottish. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's great. So there you go. Plus, best shortbread ever. Exactly. <laughs> it's like only the greatest things. Now, and I've heard, although there was, there's only one I've heard that you've done, and that's the Professor Snape one. Right, right. You have actually a little bit of a catalog. He of does. I have a bit of a catalog. Impressions. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I, I do several sometimes. So there's, there's one that... There's a song that you sing in... Oh, Shaggy. Oh. Yes. You know Shaggy? <laughs> I, yes, but right. the song is not a Shaggy song. It which, is a Shaggy song. Oh, it is a Shaggy well, song. Well, we start off with The Joker by Steve Miller and right. then go into Angel by Shaggy. Oh, okay. But you, that's, uh, and you do that in, sh on, in your show? We, yeah. we used to do it back when nobody really knew what the Black <laughs> was. It was the Loosen Up song, we called it. because like, oh, like the it was like, if yeah. there was older people in the crowd, they were like, what is this young people's country music? What, what, what's the deal with this? Yeah. And I was like, all right, we're going to do a little throwback right now. And then Jenna kind of introduces that I am. I and the, you see the walls come down. It's just right. everyone goes like, Haha, this right. is hilarious. Right, because you do the Joker as Shaggy. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Wow, I wonder if Steve Miller knows about that. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you saw him going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but he didn't, right, seem, right, right, right. didn't seem like a really friendly human being at the time. <laughs> <laughs> may have issues with that. Yeah. Maybe you could try Johnny Reed singing the Joker. That, uh, that could be the next stage right. in that. We do Shaggy, wow. and then you could sing the Angel Chorus. Girl, girl, you're my angel. <laughs> I can't. It works. It works. It's a touch of rasp. It works. Anybody else in there that you love to do? I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan Whoa. myself. So. Whoa, this is good. Um, <laughs> well done. Well, you mentioned the Dolph Lundgren thing. So right, I right, right. The big jaw. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I, I do Luke Bryan. Like he does Luke Bryan quite well. Luke, our listeners would love to hear a little okay, Luke Okay, I can do it. I'll do it. All right, so but. Luke. Um, Here we go. She's the interviewer. Tell me about, like, <laughs> what is it like on tour? Like, what, what can we expect from a tour with Luke Bryan? You can expect the biggest summer party you've ever seen in your life. I can't wait to be out there on the road with my boys and Caroline. And <laughs> Lee Bryce is going to be making an appearance at least twice a night. I don't know, it's been amazing, man. And just drinking the local beers in every single county has just been unbelievable. <laughs> the local beers, Luke that's Ryan, good. Right. Nice touch. That's it. That's all Nice touch. That's very good. That's very good. I'm tearing up. That was so nice. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back my laughter, and all of a sudden I can feel tears are coming out of my eyes. This is good. Uh, it worked. I think you could do Blake Shelton, then. Oh, Blake. Because that's a little bit... He's he got even more twang to him. Yes, he does. That, that's the it's thing. low, too. Luke's got a very unique sort of... Um, he picks up on very unique voices. Yes. yes. Nasally sort well, of voice. Professor Snape. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. But both that's, nasal a bit. Right, like Luke's yeah. talking voice and Professor Snape are both have that like thing in, or it sounds like their nose is... You could do uh, Professor Snape singing a Kermit the Frog song because <laughs> that's another one of right, those voices. Right, that's it. Right, 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 right. That's that same, in that same. same. Yeah, yes, that's all, true. All similar people. They might all be related. We don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, I hope you're thinking about all of this on Sunday when you're performing. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, tomorrow night as well, we'll be there with you guys. Yes. We've got uh, yes. Jess, who's one of the names on my first shirt, There you go. by the way. Right. Uh, Jess and uh, Washboard Union, mm -hmm. who right now, as we're doing this, are with... Randy, our afternoon guy, oh, awesome. and talking to them, which is, I never get interviews. I always, Randy gets everything. Randy. I just want to, just Randy gets, Zoom not again. only does he get everything, <laughs> but he asked me to ask you a question because this is kind of a question that he's threaded through every interview he's done around the Junos. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, and I, you know, I, I know that you guys used to do shows, your parents used to put shows together yes. for you, right? That's oh, yeah. the, one of the things we talked about at the CCMA. So <laughs> 10 years ago, if you could be that person you were 10 years ago, what would you tell yourself today? Oof. Wow. It's a big, big question. 
don't get down on yourself, I think. Because there's moments and days and mm -hmm. weeks where you're just like, you don't know if this is the right direction and you're doing the right thing. Because yeah. there's sometimes at some points there was people that didn't believe in us at all. It's just ourselves. Mm -hmm. But don't get down on yourself and just stay true to what you believe and what you actually can accomplish and visualize where you want to be because that, mm -hmm. that is one of the that best works, things. That works, yeah. I even find saying it out loud. Yes. Being that grateful person, that's, I mean, it's, it's a, something that everybody starts to talk about now, yeah. about being grateful, about saying, thank you for this. And mm -hmm. you get more of that same, mm -hmm. right? There's, the more positivity yeah. that you have in your life, the more you attract. Totally, yes, totally. Absolutely. So. I would say... Um, just be kind. Because I found, like, when I look back at stuff, I find myself being hard on myself a lot about mm -hmm. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a lot of girls that go through that. They just compare, and it doesn't become fun anymore sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think if you can just be kind to yourself and look at yourself in the mirror and just be so proud of <laughs> your body and what it can do for you and just your health. And I think there's so many things we take for granted. And... Yeah, I think just be kind to who you are and the state that you're at mm -hmm. because it's exactly where you're supposed to be. <laughs> Friday night's going to be a fun gig, that side gig. Yeah. That is going to be a time. What about Sunday? What about, will there be nerves? Definitely nerves. Of course, yeah. yeah. When, they, when you hear the name go, you heard the name, the rec laws go over the Juno's broadcast. And you hear it in your ears And then you hear starting. the counting coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, Whoa! But then yeah. once it starts, it's going to be amazing. No, we've got, a, we've got a, a, some surprises for that show. It's gonna yeah. Be really good. Oh, good. It's going to be, I think we're just trying to just take it all in and try to enjoy it the best that we can mm. and try not to get the nerves too extreme because, I mean, the show is going to go on no matter what happens. And we're just so blessed to be up there as country artists and to do this for every country artist out there and for other people watching at mm -hmm. home and people, fans that have been fans for a long time. So You've said that you often have nerves and mm -hmm. you turn to him and he's just, eh. Yeah, he's always been like that. Like, sometimes he gets a little more nervous nowadays, I think, because stuff's getting, like, bigger. bigger. Yeah. yeah. It's but, a real thing. Yeah. But definitely, I've always had nerves, like... But I think it's sometimes a good thing, maybe, mm. because then you're just like, it shows that you care a lot, I guess. I think so, too. I yeah. think that, uh, it's, I mean, you know, you don't end up in a flop sweater or anything, but you, you <laughs> yeah. do, you know, you've got a little bit of almost electricity yeah. you know, running through you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And you know people are watching. It's just like, uh -oh. Yeah. And you hope that the mics work. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Wow, I hope the sound tech guy has got those mics working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure the Juno's might have that figured out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Let's hopefully by the it. time you get on stage, that's all figured out. That's right. I'll do that, too. I'll do that, too. So, um, yes, your, your start was a really interesting one. Do you, did you feel forced into it at first when, when your parents said do these shows or were you already, you wanted to be that? Yeah, I think, I think we've always wanted to be that. Um, played in bands for a long time, like coming up to this, growing mm -hmm. up, it was like every Saturday night I was gone playing with a band, like forever. And then our parents were the ones to say, we were both going to university, and they were the ones to say, you should drop out and pursue this, because we, we were part of the CCMA Discovery Program, and then we won the Boots and Hearts Emerging Artist Showcase, and that was in 2013. Yes. And that was an That's amazing awesome. summer, yeah. And then we just decided to drop out and go You know forward. how many people are listening going, oh, if only my parents would tell me to drop out of university. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's better to stay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Role models, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And most, lots of stories are not like that. Most of them are like right. kids that call their parents, like, I'm dropping out. I believe in myself and this is what's happening. Yeah, true. Parents. We wanted to do that, but in the inside, our dad is like a chiropractor and he was like, I really want all my kids to have university educations and mm -hmm. stuff. So we stuck true to that and they were the ones that were like, we see what you guys are capable of. I think you guys should really pursue this full I have a, I have a, this is not about me, but I have the same similar story because I was going to university, mm. but I was playing on the side. And it wasn't until, because my dad was like, my dad never got the opportunity to go, grew up during the depression, right. ended up joining the Navy when he was really young. Right. He wanted to make sure I went through university. That would have been a right? big That's thing. That's the yeah. thing every, every parent wants right. to you know, get that education, right? Yeah. So I was in and at the band at the same time, he finally saw the band play and he said, no way. It's okay if you want to go do that. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. So, yeah. Same story. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. We Very like similar that. story. I'm your new bass player. Okay, yeah. welcome to the band. This is the audition. Let's go. This is the audition. <laughs> okay, it's great. Very good. Okay, so after the Junos, because there will be a Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will there? 
<laughs> well, it come. I promise. Yeah. What, uh, what's next? The coma, probably. The <laughs> coma. Mild coma. <laughs> no, no. Read uh, the reviews. Yeah. No, we're going like straight to Nashville after this to write album yeah. two. So it's nonstop. Oh, wow, that is exciting. Right into it. Yeah, I mean, we have some time off, which we're lucky for a bit because mm -hmm. we have not had time off. So we're going to focus on writing for a while because we do have another album that we want mm -hmm. to start creating, so. You write when you're on the road? A little bit, it's tough when we're, it, like, we don't have a bus yet, so right. it's tough when we're in like a 15-seater van with mm -hmm. like <laughs> a bunch of crazy guys. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's tougher on the road, but once we get into a situation, we like Nashville to write, so sure. yeah. probably Nashville's the place. Are there it. people in particular that you like to get together with in Nashville to write? Yeah. We definitely have like a team that are all Canadians, actually, nice. um, down there. That we, we always love to experience new people and stuff, but most of the stuff that we've been writing, the best quality seems to be coming out of this camp that we've been writing all the songs with so far. Um, his name's Travis Wood, another guy named Gavin Slate, and our producer is Todd Clark, um, who's produced like Philip Phillips and written big, big, massive number ones. Before nice. We, uh, it's a great mm -hmm. team. They're just very talented guys and they care a lot about the music and that's the number one priority. And that seems to be what a lot of people are doing though. Yeah, Finding totally. that team that works for them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy to see the teams, and once you, they have it, they get locked in. Like, mm -hmm. that's all Nashville is, is just meeting people and creating friendships with them, and then hopefully they like you enough to bring you into their little... Mm -hmm. Because that becomes a little family. That's yeah. almost like, yeah. you know, yeah. your family totally. there, your family here. Totally, yeah. yes. It's a, it's a great time. We're, except, we're your, pumped up. except your dad doesn't write songs with you. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet, that, anyway. As, as much oh, as they, they want they to. Want we, get to. A, we get a text <laughs> every other day, new song idea for you. And it's oh, like, really? Uh, yeah, That's kind do, of fun. They do. Not to give him too much credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but do you ever give do you ever give credence to that? Do you ever go, you know what, that's not such a bad idea? Yeah, no, no, no. They're, they are very ideas. creative, those two, for yeah. sure. Cool. They so, want to be the Red Claws. Right. And they want to nickname every one of your songs. Yes. yes. Seneance <laughs> totally. is, is the next Seneance single. Seneance is the next single. Yeah. Don't know what it means. <laughs> thank you for this. No, thank you. Have fun Friday and have even more fun on Sunday. Oh, thank you and so much. Good luck in Nashville. It's great to see you. Thank it's you. so good, it's to, good see to see you. Thanks for making time.